Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the motorhome. Thank you everyone in the comments section. Everybody loves a motorhome it seems and you've all been itching to see another video on it where I'll keep getting in various other videos. Rob, what's going on with that motorhome? When are we going to see another video on it? Today is the day. There is, you could jump in this now and use it. I definitely think you could jump in it and use it as it is. But there is quite a lot of little jobs that need doing on it. And we're going to crack on with quite a lot of them in this video. I do just want to pick up on a couple of the last comments. People rightly said, Rob, why didn't you wind that awning out and give that a clean? And the answer to that is, the actual gear in there is not working. It just spins around. So we need to have that cover off the end of it. And that is one of the jobs that we need to look into. This back window, I think I mentioned it in a previous video, is actually only one skin. And if you look closely through here, you can see where the inside skin was obviously cracked and they've broke it away and taken it off. Also, the locks. We've got a set of keys for it. Got them here. And I've been going through them. This round key, fortunately, this has been taped shut, but these locks actually do work. So we haven't got to get no new keys for that, no new locks. But this door lock here has got a broken key inside it and none of these keys seem to fit. This one's got the barrel missing out of it. So basically you can't actually secure this motorhome and lock it up when you're on site or when you're out in it. The door locks are all fine, the ignition's all fine. The radio doesn't work. We've got various other little bits and pieces to get on with this. And we, we are gonna crack on with it in this video including that squeak in there. The cleanup video was a complete success. You all really enjoyed that. A lot of you said, Rob, go ahead and get that polished up and get that back white. And do you know what? Although it's not vitally important at the moment, that is something that we're gonna do in the future. And actually, probably renew a few of the stickers just to smarten it up, have a bit of paintwork done, etc., etc. But for now, we are gonna head over to Gillingham and Maidstone. We're going to try and get a piece of flooring for it. I think the uh, majority have spoken and said, Rob, don't put a carpet in it. Even though we did in the previous one and it really did look nice. We're going to go with a nice bit of flooring in here. I need to remove this lock because I went to Camping International and they did various door locks and latches. I don't want to come back with the wrong one. So we're going to whip that off and actually take that with us. And then we've got the locker around the other side. Which, again, I haven't tried the key in here to see if it works, but we've got no little backing on the latch. We've also got to put in that new gas pipe we got and the new full orange bottle that we got. But yeah, loads and loads of little jobs to do. Let's crack on and get some of them done. That was nice and straightforward to remove, guys. You just had five little bungs inside these, inside here, and you had Phillips screws behind them. The handle pulls off. I've just screwed that back together so that I don't lose any of it. And the same with this little lock here. Also, being a bit of a bull in a china shop, the other day when I had this door open, when I was cleaning it, I flung that too hard. And the little stop there actually snapped this. I believe I had that like that and I hit the door on it and it snapped it. So my bad there, I've broke that, but that is something that we can get today and get that replaced, that holds the door open. Let's head to Camping International and see if they've got them in stock. I actually went to set off there guys and I just thought I'd check on their website and they don't actually, they do do various latches, but they don't do one like this. So this handle with this latch, and I did see that they just do the barrels. So I've taken this barrel out, but there is a piece missing out of the edge of that barrel there. And I don't actually know if that's supposed to be like that or that's a broken piece. It does look like it's kind of supposed to be there, but then the little bit inside there, that's definitely got some, something's broken on it. I did establish that the locker key for the other side, I've actually got that key. So I just need to get the little handle bit that goes on the back of it to keep the door shut. So we are finally gonna head off to Camping International. I've literally got everything in here. 
but I've got to try and find the door locks wherever they are. We get to them, we got tons of different locks, but nothing that remotely resembles any of them. So we're going to have to go to a shop that does keys now and little locks and see how we get on there. I've literally been running around for the last couple of hours sorting this out, guys, and um, I couldn't, uh, Camping International had nothing. I couldn't really do any recording in there because they had the radio on and uh for copyright obviously and they had nothing even similar to it they was all just it was all too small or miles too big so what i actually did was called an old friend i haven't spoken to him for a long while at wk shoe repairs and key cutting and i actually mentioned this to him and he said rob drop it off i'll have a look at it see what i can do now i've actually dropped that off to him just the barrel and he's going to do that for me now and said hopefully it'll be a couple of hours but in the meantime i do want to get on so we're just going to measure this floor and actually go around and look at some flooring for it just i needed to jump in here and see how far under that went it does go all the way across doesn't it so we need to get a piece i think this is six meters long this moat room inside isn't it approximately i might be wrong there might be six meters outside anyway i'm going to measure up and then go and actually look at some flooring and hopefully get some flooring for it. So let's do that. So West at WK knocked it out of the park for me there. You cannot buy these locks. He said you can't get that, that size that's in there. So he actually took it apart and cut two keys for it. He said these keys are unique to these kind of locks as well. So all I've got to do now is try and work out how to put it back together. And I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's get it all put back together. Now we're going to need a bit of oil on the door because it's squeaking, but... Absolutely perfect. And that's the original lock with two nice new keys. Right, back to this lock. This little bit on the back here, I'm actually going to remove it. This circle has actually got the latch broken out of it. So what I'm gonna have to get Chris to, I'm gonna have to get Chris to help me is put an extension on here or a plate and fix it somehow with like an arm coming off of it that's gonna keep that door locked. And we're gonna try and do something about our black this is as well because I did say earlier in the video, we've got the key for this one. So this is better, it's just gonna have the four keys now. So door lock, cupboard, ignition key and of course the lock for these that's a lot lot better i'm so happy that we've now got them keys for it and these then they're, they're not expensive but they're expensive for what they are online so what i've actually done there's there's one on there at the minute and it's the same make as this it's brand new and it's on bids and i'm currently bidding on it so hopefully by the end of this video I would have won that and we can get that swapped out as well. They are really good extra security. Let's get on to the next job. At the beginning part of this video probably seems a bit all over the place. I was off to the carpet shop and then come back and done the locks, but he called me and said the locks was ready pretty much half an hour after I'd done it. I did drive to the carpet shop, the local one, and it was actually closed. Um, someone did reach out in the comment section from a place in Maidstone and I've tried him several times. So we are just gonna move on to the next job and obviously we'll have to pick up on the, the other parts tomorrow. Also, Chris is working on another car in the workshop. So I don't wanna interrupt him in to, to help me do that lock because I know he'll look at it and go, yeah, I can make a bracket there, Rob. I can do this, do that. I just know that he'll do it. So we'll wait for him. But in the meantime, I am gonna have a quick look at this awning because it's really really important isn't it and i'd like to get it working but what i will do is stick the, the bar in there and just give you a quick demo nothing at all.
Let's get the cover off the end of it and have a proper look. I think it's Chris's answer to everything now. I've just managed to get that off. I, we're gonna be honest here. So you can see the orange strap there and there. I was trying to get it behind the awning and Chris went, yeah, you got two straps there, mate, just, <laughs> just to each end. But I've just got the usual answer out of him where um, I've ended up taking the end cap off. He's got it there in his hand and he said, yeah, it's been a gearbox too long, Rob. Something sheared in there. Something sheared in there, but basically that's all it was doing. This bit here was spinning round and I knew that wasn't turning. But I actually just said to Chris, I'm quite grateful that that is broken because do you remember what I said to you when I come in the workshop when I said I'll start in the awning? Yeah. I actually thought it was missing, guys. And what they've done is just locked it in there so it won't come out. But it did start to come out and it actually looks like a nice awning. So... It is the end of the day. I'm going to be going to the carpet shop in the morning and Chris is going to take that apart. Let's see if we can fix it. That's the face of a man that's going to fix it. Well, we don't know, but we'll have a look. What make is that? What Italian, is... I would think. Flammer. Fiamma. Fiamma. So I could look that up and possibly order one for it. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be brilliant if it had an electric motor that could bolt on there? That'd be something else, wouldn't it? Yeah. But too expensive. Right, let's leave it there for a minute. So the next morning, I've just arrived to the yard. Chris is already operating on the the gearbox for the awning, and you've actually found a problem, mate, right? Oh, I have found a problem. What is the problem? The problem's the operator. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, guys, and genuinely, I know a lot of you are going to give me a bit of stick about this, so that's all I was we doing. We thought that was sheared off, didn't we? Yeah, you've Got actually it. got to pull it down when you're turning it. There's not actually anything wrong with it. I can't believe you've done that, Chris. No, I'm joking. It was actually me. Yeah, it's working fine now. Yeah. I guess that's so when you're going along, that can't... Spin round. Spin round and, and undo it. So. Out, so quite clever. Still a little bit embarrassing, though. Yeah. Right, let's get it put back on. nice that is and we just chris has just been inspecting it with me is that not any holes in it oh, no little so. tears or rips and it's actually quite a nice pattern it don't look really really old-fashioned does it oh, like the yeah. like the last one but yeah really happy with that i know the legs guys are actually meant to clip in so you've got one there little bracket once looking at and the other one actually bolts down here and I've got that as well. There's some runs in the paint there, look. But I've actually got that. Just need to fit that on. But overall, really happy. But what a silly schoolboy error. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, does it? It is what it is, and it's done now, so... Got a new bit of grease in it, didn't it? Yep, it's all full of grease. I've just got to pop the cover back on, but I don't actually want to. It's all brittle it's and broken. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to... Um, we'll have a flick through the internet and try and find one, but... I'm going to get down that carpet shop this morning because I know they're open. Right, let's just wind that away. Very, very happy. Right, guys, the flooring is ordered. I'll actually come back with a sample, show Chris, see what he thought of the colour. We don't want to get this wrong because once it's down, it's permanent. It's going to be there forever. So I've got to pop and grab that the actual piece of flooring that we're going to have for it. But just before we do go, I started doing a few little jobs connected up that arm on that window and you can see on this one we've got to replace this anyway i've said that but you can see i've just wedged that in there to hold it open because this side is not actually working this window don't come open too far anyway because of 
that there, I can move that slightly and get it open a little bit more. But I've noticed with this window, you've got a strut this side, but no bolt in it. And then this side, the strut's actually missing. So still loads of little bits and bobs to do. But I did just make a start on this bathroom door. You can see where it's come apart there, but when you actually push it, it does go back together. Somebody has been in here before with some glue and tried gluing this panel back on, but it's all quite loose. So what I've actually decided to do, you can see that little bit of trim there. All the little, it had little tacks in it, they've all come out. I'm gonna attempt, because we put staples in the last one. So I'm gonna clean all this glue off. I've got a blade there and we're gonna give that a go. If it don't work, I'm actually gonna go around and put a load of new little tacks in it and get that all held in there and get that all put back to where it should be and get that one sorted out. Everything does work on it. So there's no reason why we can't save all of that. Guys, Chris brought out these little tiny plates for me and a little pot of screws. And if you see the top of the door, now I've got that back in there. I've actually put a couple of staples in there. I've put a screw in there to hold it. I've put some glue behind it. And then you go further down there's the little bracket on there holding that shut now the the one underneath is i haven't zoomed in a bit too far there the one underneath is actually sitting perfect it's gone in on its own and all i've done is just chucked a couple of staples in it chris is going to run me down another piece of this because it's actually missing off of here and you can see right down to the bottom there that side is missing so i've put them in there temporarily and then he's going to cut me out a piece of wood to go in there but jobs are good at. i think that's another job done until he cuts me down that bit of wood right i think now we're gonna have to start unscrewing all of this because that flooring He's obviously got to go right underneath. Right, 240 pound for a new piece of flooring, but got really, really lucky. Honest opinions, it's going in now, but 90 quid. And that is 4.5 meters by two meters, which is perfect because this is actually 4.3 by two meters and it's it's close enough to the one that's in here so i don't think it's going to look out of place at all obviously these lines are going to be going around the other way it's it's going to be laying the other way so the lines are going to be going obviously vertical i think that was a bargain i think that is a great color compared to what's in here it's not gonna See, I was talking to Chris about it and I even had a little bit of a chat with Claire about it. And I said, look, this is the color of it inside. That's the color. We're not going for a carpet this time. What do you think? And she said, because oh, I was, at first I was going to buy a nice gray bit. She was like, it won't match nothing. You've, you've really got to kind of go for what's in there or very, very similar, slightly lighter, slightly darker. But if you look at that and then look at those walls in the background, I think that's going to be absolutely perfect. But I know you guys are going to tell me in the comment section anyway. I actually wanted to crack on, get all this stripped out and start getting this laid down. Because you've actually got to lay this down, then lift it up before you glue it back down. And of course, I've got to remove all of this one as well. And that's going to have been glued down. So even though in some places, I think when you really bend down... <laughs> You can see there is certain places like there where it's actually lifting. It is actually got glue underneath it. This is a, a foam back one, so it's nice and soft. It's going to be perfect, I think. Even though I've put dirty handprints all over it now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I was going to put this in, but like I just said, Chris just said, Rob, before you do that, really, I think we need to clean the inside of it. Take all these curtains down. I'm going to take them home, chuck them in the washing machine and actually clean the inside of it because I still haven't touched it. So I'm not actually going to fit that floor in. We're going to leave that actually as the last job. We've still got quite a lot to do on this one. We've got all the mechanical stuff to do, but I need to continue on and stop getting sidetracked and actually finish the jobs that I started out to do in this video. So we're going to concentrate on this little door lock for the side locker.
Chris is just having a look at that lock, so I thought I'd jump back in here. And it says, warning, do not store highly flammable. And I thought, what's under there? Then I only looked again and realized, I said to Chris, he's gonna have to cut a piece of board for in here, but guess what? Beautiful, another little job done. I've got a little bit of clean up to do there guys with the glue, but Chris nailed it. That's absolutely perfect. And the one that was on there before was plastic. So job is a good one. So I've got a little bit sidetracked in that video with one job or another and it does get quite difficult when Chris was actually in here. You would have seen recently, where we've been trying to nail through some projects, I've been working on one, Chris has been working on the other. So I've done the Audi A1 airbag kit and he was in here working on another car. And then I've been on that motor home and he's been back on the Audi A1. So it's a bit like that. And I've been doing one job and then popping in when he gets a gap, getting him to do that handle for me and it pretty much, this is the way it's been planning out lately, but I've got a lot done in this video, believe it or not. I know it probably don't seem like lots and lots of stuff, but I really have got a lot done. All of the curtains are now out of it. I never bothered filming all of that. I'm gonna take it home, start measuring up for some different curtains for it, different colors, see if we can do something with them, etc. It's now all locked up and got all its proper keys, which is, brilliant to have because it is nothing worse than not having a key for that and having to lock it inside and this is missing that's missing anyway i'm not going to go on you've seen <laughs> i've been going on all the way through the video as usual we do hope that you did enjoy it and if you do guys hit that thumbs up we really do appreciate it and of course it shows your appreciation share on all your social networking sites follow us on instagram for the little sneak peeks at salvage rebuilds if you haven't already like, subscribe and share and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.